Hi, good evening everyone. This is Kanna Babu. Today we'll discuss about MongoDB. I think you all are people are waiting for this free sessions on MongoDB. Right? So generally MongoDB is an OSQL database. Mostly recommended for Python as well as mean stack developers. And you can use uh, this uh, MongoDB for the several other purpose also. We'll see what is this MongoDB. So, first of all, you must know what is database. Is it clear? First of all, when you develop any applications, we need to maintain the data. First of all, you must know what is data. Data is nothing but collection of raw facts. We already know. Data is nothing but collection of raw facts. Is it clear? The data may be anything. It may be a number or it may be a character or it may be a, the data may be text or it may be a speech or it may be any audio file or video file or numeric data the data may exist in different ways is it clear so if you want to perform any operations on data we need to store the data whenever you want to perform any operations on data we need to store the data in order to store the data we require some memory in order to store the data we require some memory and this memory is basically divided into two types one is temporary memory other one is permanent memory temporary memory and permanent memory Temp uh, without storing the data we cannot perform any operations so if you want to perform any operations on data we need to store the data in order to store the data we require some memory this memory is basically divided into two types temporary memory and permanent memory if you want to store the data permanently you have to take the support of files or databases is it clear if you want to store the data permanently you have to take the support of files or databases and again these files are basically divided into two types one is data related files code related files dot txt file dot doc dot pdf dot mp3 dot xls dot jpg these all are data related files dot wmv these all are data related files these files are basically divided into two types one is data related files code related files code related files are dot html dot js dot php dot py dot aspx dot php these are our code related files so the, our main purpose is to perform operations on data in order to perform any operations on data we need to store the data in order to store the data we require some memory this memory is basically divided into two types one is temporary memory other one is permanent memory if you want to store the data permanently you have to store either in the form of files or in the form of databases and these databases again are two types one is sql databases are there other one is no sql databases are also there nowadays is it clear sql related databases are rdbms relational database management system your SQL Server, Oracle, MySQL, SQL Lite, these all comes under relational database management systems. No SQL database also, you have nowadays what we are learning now, that is MongoDB. Is it clear? So our main concentration is on what? Data. Right? We need to perform operations on data. We need to store the data. In order to store the data, we require some memory. That memory is of two types temporary memory and permanent memory temporary memory means ram actually permanent memory means hard disk if you want to store the data permanently you need to store the data in where hard disk so if you want to store the data permanently you can store either in the form of files or in the form of what databases you can store the data either in the form of files or what databases this clarity you must have initially Whenever you want to work with any databases, you must have the knowledge on this concept. Is it clear? What is data? Did you got it, everyone? Data is nothing but a collection of raw facts. Whenever you want to perform any operations on data, we need to store the data. Today is first class. Let me complete my uh, discussion and everything. Later, you can ask any doubts. I'll give some time for clarifying your doubts. Let me speak some time. Okay? Don't use chat box more. Okay, now that's it. So, what is the story I told you here? 
data is very powerful. Whenever you want to perform any operations on data, we need to store the data. In order to store the data, we require some memory. And this memory is basically divided into two types. One is temporary memory, other one is permanent memory. Is it clear? If you want to store the data permanently, take the support of what? Database. Take the support of database or files, whatever it is. In olden days, relational databases are very, very powerful, like SQL Server, Oracle. So, what is database? Database is collection of information. Database is collection of information. The data belongs to a particular organization is called as information. For example, if you develop a project for a particular company, to maintain the, I want to develop a project for a particular college, to maintain the student details, to maintain the employee details, to maintain the course details, to maintain the department details. I want to develop a project for a particular college. So I need to maintain the information of the students who are enrolled in that college, information of the employees who are working in that college, course details, department details, some library details. Is it clear? Some lab details. The complete information belongs to a particular organization. That is called as information. Is it clear? I am developing a project for a particular college. Is it clear? So we need to gather the data belongs to this particular college. So keep this data in one database. So database is nothing but what all of you? Collection of information. The data belongs to a particular organization. Is called as information. So I am naming this database as a college database. This database consists of the information belongs to that particular college. The student details. Is it clear? I am developing a project for a particular college to maintain the student details. If you take a college, engineering college. In that engineering college, what is there? Lot of students are uh, enrolled in that college. Uh, employees will be there. Courses will be there. Department will be there. The library information, lab information hostel information, transport information, the entire data belongs to that particular college. We need to store in one database. Is it clear? That is college database. So I can simply tell that database is nothing but collection of information. Similarly, I am developing a project. I am developing a project for a particular hospital. I am developing a project for a particular hospital where I want to maintain the where I want to maintain the patient details, lab details, pharma details, doctor details, inpatient, outpatient details. Is it clear? The total data belongs to that particular hospital. Is it clear? So the data belongs to a particular organization. Is called as what? Database. Okay. So I am developing one uh, project for a particular hospital so this is hospital database so i need to maintain the data belongs to this particular hospital means the information belongs to a organization you can keep in one database this is the college database this is hospital database is it clear similarly here i'll try to develop a project for a particular travel agency or a food court i'm developing a project for a particular restaurant is it clear where I want to maintain the uh, item details, where I want to maintain the restaurant details, where I want to maintain the order details, where I want to maintain the customer details, where I want to maintain the um, lot of other details, uh, some uh, menu details. So the information belongs to a particular restaurant, you have to keep in one database. So, database is a collection of information. Here, information represents what? The data belongs to a particular organization. You can call as information. The data belongs to a particular organization. You can, you can call as what? Information. Did you understand everyone? So, this is what we are discussing about. So, what is database? Database is collection of information. Database is collection of information. Is it clear? So, in database, the data will be stored in the form of tables. Is it clear? In database, the data will store in the form of tables. In the form of what? Tables. Table is nothing but a collection of rows and columns. Is it clear? The data will be stored in the form of table, which is a collection of rows and columns. 
is it clear so this is your table i want to maintain the student details okay na so i need to create one table student number student name age gender phone number like multiple columns are existing so all these columns we need to store in the form of table this is the relational database management system mostly the data will be stored in the form of table which is collection of rows and columns here i will insert some data 101 some anil some 28 some are 23 i will give and gender male phone number some blah blah phone number i will give 102 some sunil some 22 some male some data some phone number i will give is it clear so this is the regular database style what we are following is it clear we are maintaining the data in the form of what table which is collection of rows and columns which is collection of rows and what columns in database the data will be stored in the form of table which is collection of rows as well as columns did you understood everyone so 100 percent why to store the data in database to perform different types of operations what operations you can simply call as CRUD operations c represents create r represents retrieve u represents update d represents delete only four operations will try to perform is it clear you can take any application any big application you take if you take facebook facebook is having what databases lot of databases facebook will maintain is it clear and basically these databases are uh, data is basically divided into two types this data is basically divided into two types one is structured data structured data other one is unstructured data structured data other one is what unstructured data is it clear unstructured data Structured data means just if your data is stored in the form of text format or number format, then that type of data is structured data. Unstructured data means nowadays there is very popular data that is streaming data. Streaming data means continuous flow of data. For example, if you order a food in Swiggy, the delivery boy will go to the restaurant and the owner of the, uh, the customer who ordered the food can track the delivery boy details through his mobile. Uh, once when the delivery boy reached the restaurant that is why python is become very popular why python became very popular to handle the streaming data unstructured data continuous flow of data is called as streaming data you can track the delivery boy details through your mobile eh? when he start from his location to your location based on the distance we can calculate the time and that time will be displayed in your mobile streaming data your facebook likes that is also unstructured data is it clear your videos comments in youtube this all comes under unstructured data is it clear generally database data is basically divided into two types one is structured data other one is unstructured data if anybody not able to hear again you rejoin only one solution is again rejoin then you can everything will be fine is it clear so data is basically divided into two types structured data and unstructured data mostly relational database management systems like rdbms okay na? relational database management systems are popular to maintain the structured data because the data will be stored in the form of table accessing the data storing the data deleting the data updating the data is very easy if your data is stored in the table is it clear rdbms relational database management system like sql server oracle mysql sqlite these all are popular for storing the structured data storing the data in the form of table which is collection of rows and columns is it clear this is the old style actually 100 percent we need to store the data in the database in database the data will be stored in the form of tables single database can have multiple tables will exist multiple tables are existing in a single database if it is a college database here you have lot of tables belongs to the college son everyone this is your table actually means what if you're developing any application for a particular college we need to maintain the data belongs to the student this is your student table is it clear maintaining the student information 
and similarly this is your uh, employee table and this is your department table this is your uh, course table this is your library table like multiple tables are existing let us assume if it is a college database similarly if, you, if it is a travel agency website and here it comes of the multiple tables belongs to the travel agency bus details pickup point details destination point details uh, booking details customer details etc so that's why simply i am telling database is nothing but collection of information in database the data will be information means what here the data belongs to a particular organization you can call as an information okay you can come back to our uh, concept here what i'm telling here data is very powerful i already told you what is database database is collection of information if you store the data in the database is it clear did you understood everyone so what i'm telling here one more point when you consider any application let us assume that one swiggy application you take or ircdc you take ircdc is the popular application everyone known for that so what is the purpose of ircdc to book the train tickets who will book the train tickets customers who will interact with this ircdc definitely ircdc will have one database no ircdc is what all of you application which application web application ircdc is which application web application you can develop this web application either by using java or by using dotnet or by using python django or by using mean stack or by using angular with full stack whatever it may be is it clear or by using php we can develop web application is it clear because the end user cannot directly communicate with the database database is not user friendly database is not user friendly in database the data will be stored in the form of tables which is collection of rows and columns this is ircdc database in this database what is there lot of tables are there this table consists of which information train details are there is it clear train details are there in this uh, database one table consists of train details one table consists of uh, bus de uh, sorry destination details one table consists of pickup point details state details city details like multiple what uh, tables are existing in a single database multiple some 40 to 50 to 100 tables also may be there customer details booking details this is your ircdc database ircdc database is this is it clear but uh, if you want to interact with the database you can ask me why to interact with the database to perform some operations what operations uh, uh, to store the train details or to retrieve retrieve the data or to book the tickets or to check the pnr status is it clear or to cancel the train ticket or to cancel the trains lot of things so who will interact with the database uh, the employees who will interact with the database employees of ircdc admin of ircdc customer of ircdc customer what he will do he will book the tickets check the pnr status search the train details cancel the train tickets employees of ircdc they will add the set the destination points pickup points this information will be stored by employees admin of ircdc add the train details like multiple users will be there who will try to uh, communicate with the database because the data will be stored in the form of what table which is collection of rows and columns collection of rows and what columns but if you want to communicate with the database to perform any type of operations we must have the knowledge on one language what is that language sql so what is sql sql is a language actual query language structured query language structured query language which will speak with databases structured query language simply it is a simple language to fetch to communicate with databases to perform crud operations which operations crud to insert the data if you want to insert the data in the database or if you want to retrieve the data from the database or if you want to delete the data or update the data 
we need to learn one language that is sql sql is a language is it clear sql is a language which will works on relational databases sql server is separate sql is separate sql server oracle sql server oracle mysql these all are database softwares sql server oracle mysql these all are database softwares what is database software database software is used to manage what databases it is a software which is used to manage the databases so sql server oracle mysql these all are database softwares rdbms softwares which is used to manage the databases did you understood everyone now one language is required to fetch the data from the database in olden days people are using sql simply writing the queries if i want to get the data you can write select star from emp very simple english query language you can pronounce as sql simple english query language delete from emp where e number is equal to 101 insert into emp very simple language but uh, mongodb is uh, no sql database we'll come to mongodb don't worry these all will support sql sql is a language but now we are talking about what no sql we are telling the word no sql database is mongodb okay na your oracle sql server mysql sql lite these all are sql databases so what is sql all of you sql is a language sql server is a software oracle is a software mysql is a software did you understood so sql server database is not user friendly at any database whether it is mongodb or sql server oracle any database did you understood everyone any database is not user friendly because end user end user means what the employee of the ircdc he don't know java.net sql it means the customer who is booking the train ticket through his mobile or laptop or desktop he don't have the knowledge on this sql so who will learn sql means developer developer who want to communicate with the database he must have the knowledge on one language that is sql so sql is a language which is used to write the queries on database tables sql is a language everyone must learn sql sql server developer oracle developer mysql developer any relational database management system developer must have the knowledge on sql to fetch the data from the databases did you got clarity everyone are you following microsoft sql server is a software there is no relation between microsoft sql server is separate sql server is separate sql server is separate and what Microsoft SQL Server is separate. Both are totally interrelated. Did you understood? Means what? SQL is a language. Microsoft SQL Server is a database software. Database software means it is used to manage what? Databases. Software is collection of programs. Lot of programs are written. Here I created one WhatsApp group in MongoDB. For MongoDB, I will share the link in this group. Try to login in this group so that i will share the notes materials and everything make it fast it understood i think many people are there who will join first they can only get into the group make it fast is it clear so that's what i'm telling here so now we are discussing about sql sql is a language which is used to write the queries on database softwares yes or no okay don't confuse with sql server and sql did you got clarity what is oracle oracle is a software to manage the databases if you want to fetch the data from oracle what is required one language is required sql sql is a common language to fetch the data from the relational databases okay na? so this is about database i told what is sql it is a language that talks to databases who will learn sql developers Purely in companies, database developers will be there, SQL DBA developers or some other Power BI, MSBA developers. Some web application developers also must have the knowledge on this language. Because web application developer, what he will do? He will develop the application by using different uh, 
by using java dot net or python python means django angular or mean stack or full stack any developer will develop the web application and your web application must communicate with what databases so you must know how to fetch the data from the database how to fetch the data from what database so you must have the knowledge on what this language that is sql sql is a language which is used to write queries are you following everyone okay now we already discussed about uh, in database table in database the data will be stored in the form of table which is collection of rows and columns within two to three minutes we'll enter into mongodb listen carefully maximum five minutes in database the data will be stored in the form of table table is nothing but a collection of rows and columns horizontal is called as row this horizontal is called as row vertical is called as column is it clear the intersection of row and column is called as cell the intersection of row and column is called as cell these all are column names e number e name salary yes this is one row this is second row third row something like that the data will be stored in the form of table which is collection of rows and columns is it clear generally in relational database management system ef cod ef cod is the father of what database he told some rules generally we'll call as cod rules is it clear whenever you want to store the here did you understood everyone whenever uh, uh, you want to design the database tables he told some rules ef cod what are the rules he told means we need to follow the normalization we need to follow the normalization let us see what is that normalization later i will discuss but just okay na? normalization is a database design technique normalization it is the database design technique database design technique which is used to which is used to reduce the redundancy and dependency of data this is the rules given by ef cod design technique which is used to reduce if you want to know about normalization you can watch my video in youtube normalization by kanna babu you will get it is a database design technique which is used to reduce redundancy redundancy and dependency of data it is a database design technique normalization is it clear so there are different normal forms are there first normal form second normal form third normal form fourth normal form or bcnf buoyancy cord normal form like lot of normal forms are there popular is these four okay na? we'll discuss about the first normal form means ef cord told some rules whenever you store the data in the table a table is said to be in first normal form if it follow the two rules rule number one is single cell consists of single value single cell consists of single value one cell must have only one value he told and another rule he told each record must be unique i am talking about relational databases all relational databases like sql server oracle mysql all will support this uh, rules each record must be unique two rules are existing one is single cell consists of single value and second one is each record must be unique this is the rule given by ef cod so for example if you have some employee table is there employee number employee name salary employee number employee name salary and here i'll try to give yes and here i'll try to give phone number and here i'll try to give some landline number is it clear some so lot of information is there belongs to your particular employee did you understood here you have employee number employee name salary is phone number landline number uh, temporary address something like this temporary address similarly permanent address something like this the data will be stored in the form of table which is collection of rows and columns don't use the chat box let me speak at the end you can ask the doubts is it clear so lot of information is there belongs to that particular employee this is the main problem actually why we are going for mongodb did you understood so first lesson actually you'll understand now the data is stored in the form of table which is collection of rows and columns so here i give some debt 20000 some 26 some phone number some landline number 
Is it clear? Something like that, some temporary address, some permanent address. Is it clear? Something like that. Different information is there. So if you observe clearly, so anyway, I'm talking about uh, first normal form. The table is set to be in first normal form if it obey the below rules. If it obey the below rules. Is it clear? If it obey some below rules, then that table is called as first normal form. Rule number one, single cell consists of single value. Rule number two, each record must be unique. That is the two rules given by EF Cot. is the father of what? Uh, database. He given some rules. All the database management system softwares must follow that rules. Now each record, record is nothing but what? A row. row is also called as record. Each record must be unique means no two records must be same according to his rule single cell consists of single value yes it is following that rule because table is nothing but a collection of rows and what columns if you observe clearly here you have multiple the intersection of row and column you can call as what cell so single cell consists of single value yes it is not violating the rule of ef cot it is very good very fine the data will be stored in the form of table which is a collection of rows and columns. According to EF card, it is not violating the rule. Very good. One cell can serve only one value. That is fine. And second rule is telling each record must be unique. If you observe clearly, record is nothing but row. Row is also called as record. If you observe the last two records are same. Last two records are what? Same. So if two records are same, he told that delete one record. That is the first rule given by EF card. Single cell consists of single value and each record must be unique. Each record must be unique. This is what the EF card told in first normal form. And second normal form he told that if multiple tables are existing, if multiple tables are, if duplicate values are existing in a single cell, you split the tables into multiple tables. You have to design what? Multiple tables. That is the second normal form. And then you need to establish the relationship between the tables. For that, you have to use foreign key constraint. Is it clear? You need to establish the relation between the tables. Is it clear? For that, you need to uh, apply foreign key constraint. Normal uh, database uh, variety SQL server, it will support what? Two, two points you have to understand. One is in relational database management system, it will maintain the table schema. Means what I will explain, you see anyway. Okay, these all are the SQL databases. This is no SQL databases. What are SQL databases? The SQL is a language which is used to interact with databases to fetch the data. Oracle, MySQL, SQL Server, SQLite, PostgreSQL, these all are relational database management systems. If you want to fetch the data from these databases, you have to learn one language that is SQL. Coming to Redis. HBase, MongoDB, Cassandra. These all are NoSQL databases. Out of all these NoSQL databases, MongoDB is very powerful. No need of any SQL skills. Is it clear? No, your SQL will not work when you work with MongoDB. Separate treatment is there. What is that? We'll see. So generally, if you want to design the database tables or anything, you must have the knowledge on some ER diagrams, entity relationship diagrams, as I told you, initially you store the data in the form of table, which is collection of rows and columns. Is it clear? And uh, the data redundancy will be increased, duplicate values. EF card told one more important point. What you know? Here, duplicate values must not exist in the single table, he told. Did you understood? For example, I'm developing a, creating one table to maintain the student details. Is it clear? So our employee details like employee number, employee name, salary, lot of information is there. And um, uh, course name, the employee is teaching which courses in the college or faculty table. Here employee is faculty. We are maintaining the employee number, employee name, salary, course name and um, department name, something like that. So employee number 101. Employee name some Anil, salary some 20,000. And this employee is teaching what? Uh, .NET and is teaching MongoDB 
and is teaching SQL Server, lot of things. Single employee is teaching multiple courses. Did you understood Python? Is it clear? So if you observe clearly, it is violating the rule of EF card. He told that single cell conserves single value. According to EF card, comma separated values must not exist in the single table. This is the rule given by EF card. Table is collection of rows and columns. Whenever you try to store the data in the form of table, is it clear? Single cell, one cell must have only one value. Don't uh, declare multiple uh, values in a single cell. He told like this. So this is not the good style of designing the database. So split this table into three tables. I'll split you see employee, employee number, employee name and salary. After applying normalization, my database tables will look like this. Okay, and here I will take one more table, department table, department number, department name. And here one more table, course table, here course ID and what? Course name. Yes or no? Now here these all are individual tables. Did you understood? One is department table, other one is course table. I will fill some data so that you will get some clarity. Department number 10, here I will give ECE department. Department number 20 some CSC department, department number 30, some triple E department. Is it clear? And here course table, I'll try to write C1, course 1. I'll try to give some uh, OS operating systems. Here course 2, I'll give some uh, MongoDB. And here I'll try to give some course 3. I'll try to give some uh, Python. And here I'll try to give some course 4. I'll try to give some electronics uh, device and circuits. Okay. Now these are uh, two separate tables and here I have one employee table, employee number, employee name. And here you have 101 I will give and here I will give Anil. And here 102, here I will try to give Sunil. And here I will give 103, here I will give Ajay. Now these three are individual tables. Now establish the relation between these three tables. Because employee is teaching what, employee is working in which department? So, in relational database management system, common column must exist between the tables. Anil is enrolled in working in EC department. Sunil is working in EC department. Ajay is working in CSC department. Like this, we need to design the tables in relational database, like SQL Server or Oracle or MySQL, whatever it may be. Here, department, course, as well as employee. Did you understood, everyone? So relations exist, two, two things you have to understand in relational database management system. One is schema, other one is relations. These two will be supported by relational database management systems like SQL Server, Oracle, MySQL, etc. And MongoDB will not support these two. What is the problem with these two? I will explain you. Okay, now first try to understand. Database means collection of information. If you want to store the data in the database, in database if you want to store the data, is it clear? We need to store the data in the form of tables, which is collection of rows and what? Columns. Collection of rows and columns. Did you understand? Relations will exist between these tables in relational database management system. Okay, let us see here. So here we are discussing about all these topics. What is... Uh, uh, so generally in olden days if you want to design the database tables in an efficient manner we have to design by using ER diagrams dividing uh, collecting the data keep the data in the single table and then apply the normalization rules first normal form second normal form third normal form after applying the normalization your data is split into multiple tables and relationships will exist between these what tables Okay, now story will, concept will never change, only the implementations will change. So, and the relations, in order to establish the relation between the tables, you have one to one relation, one to many relation, many to one relation, many to many relation. If you want to establish the relationship between the tables. For example, you see, I showed you one sample database here, sample, small part of the database. Like I'm developing an application for a particular travel agency where I want to maintain the bus details, pickup point details, destination details, is it clear, fare destination details, bus pickup point details, bus destination point details. Now, in relational database management system, the problem is the structure of the table, the structure of the table is fixed. 
this table consists of columns service number from place to place capacity departure time arrival time travel agency name bus type so that the database schema the structure of the table is fixed once when the structure of the table is fixed data must exist in each and every particular cell it, it doesn't mean that some buses are there but buses are not uh, they have not scheduled the buses so in this in that scenario no need to mention the departure time as well as arrival time and these details is it clear but in relational database management system when you store the data in the form of table data must present in each and every cell even though data is not present you have to store with some default value some null value like that that is mandatory that is the main complaint in relational database management system okay now we'll see how that was solved in mongodb and all the other things is it clear everyone so what i am telling at the time of designing the database your uh, multiple tables are existing in your database and the relationships will exist between your particular what tables some foreign key relationships are existing i am talking about other database sql databases i have not ended in no sql databases just i am talking about in olden days when you go for oracle or sql server or mysql in that scenario the data will be stored in the form of tables which is collection of rows and columns and uh, the intersection of row and column is called as cell every cell consists of some data is it clear if you you see here there are different tables are there state table is there city table is there relation is there one state can have many cities so the relation is one to many one state can have many cities or many cities belongs to single state or one city can have many locations one to many relation if one to many relation is existing then the primary key of parent table will become foreign key in child table in database point of view if you want to establish the relation between the tables you can establish by using foreign key constraint is it clear here you see and this is a primary key primary key means it will not allow duplicate values it will not allow null values if you take here hyderabad belongs to which state st1 means ts telangana state warangal belongs to st1 telangana state vizag belongs to st2 ap so there is a relation between state and city so in some requirement in front end in future if you write something like this select state and select city something like this here you can take one drop down list in, in future you are a web application developer no you are developing one web application i have a requirement like this here i have one more drop down list what is my requirement i want to bind all the state names in drop down list one so whenever user select the state name based on the state name i want to get the city names belongs to that particular state if i select uh, here i will get all the state names telangana state ap up when user selects ts i want to get all the city names belongs to ts and when user select city i want to get the is it clear i want to get the locations i want to get the location names belongs to hyderabad if user select hyderabad here i want to get uh, hyderabad means ct1 means gachibowli amirpet some some these two so what i am telling here if you observe clearly as multiple tables are existing in relational databases fetching the data from multiple tables is the tedious task like you have to use join queries or sub queries to fetch the data from multiple tables in relational database management system the data will be stored in the form of structured format that is schema will be maintained is it clear the structure of the table is fixed if you want to insert the data you have to insert the data in each and every particular cell that is mandatory is it clear this is what is happening in the uh, normal uh, application here you see now here you see i will tell you for example i am maintaining one uh, database for a particular organization to maintain the product details like product id product name price description is it clear product name is ac price 25000 description thunder cold some description and if you observe clearly 
the this is a relational rdbms database like sql server or oracle here the data will be stored in the form of table and uh, it is it doesn't mean that every product data must present in that table doesn't mean that all that data table data must exist here ac information is given refrigerator information is given product some product information is not given some tv yes but price is not decided description is not given so like this if you observe the database table structure lot of values are empty here lot of values are empty empty means some null null values are existing this is not the good style of this is the main complaint in rdbms databases mongodb will provide solution for this type of data also we can store all records have to follow the schema in relational database management system every record here you have to see i am not inserting this value you know so i don't want to i want to remove these three cells from my table these two cells i want to remove from this table that is not possible in my relational database management system the structure is fixed it will maintain the schema mongodb will not maintain any schema did you understood let us see what is mongo now again here you see there are three tables are there one is users table is there products table is there and orders table is there 100 percent a order was made by the user user will purchase a product then order will be ready user will purchase a product then order will be ready so in orders table this user information is exist product information also will exist because of this relationship this is in uh, what rdbms relationship it will focus on relationship and the schema these two will not be focused in our mongodb did you understood everyone here you see now i have one table with name users one table with name products and here one table with name orders is it clear here uh, user id is what one a user ordered a product which product chair is it clear so the relationships is existing within this particular table did you understand here empty values are also existing these all problems will be solved by your mongo are you following every everyone we'll see we'll see i'll explain this is what happening in our uh, normal relational databases sql server oracle etc okay na? because of this relation one to one one to many many to one many to many relations are established within your database tables coming to mongodb what is this mongodb actually mongodb as uh, uh, derived from the word something like homogonous is it it was derived uh, the word from this word because it can store lots and lots of data we can store here what is the problem you identified is it clear the, here there is no data but some null values existing or some empty values existing in each and every particular cell because of this wastage of memory memory is not maintained properly table schema it will maintain in the relational database management system the data will store in the form of schema did you understood everyone here you see and each and every value each and every cell must fill with some value in original normal databases like sql server oracle mysql if you design a table 100 percent if you write a product name you have to write here the price you have to write the description but i don't want to maintain the data like that my requirement is totally different are you following see if you take a shopping cart application so in are you following everyone up to here it is okay is it clear everyone up to here it is okay everyone yes now we'll enter into our mongo did you understood yes fine fine good now generally in mongodb what will happen the data will be stored in the form of tables now here one table is called as collection actual nowadays object oriented programming is very very powerful i think everyone have the knowledge on oops i think just you came from database background sorry front end some uh, python or angular or dot net or java you have the knowledge on oops just i'll give you some 
clarity what is variable simply i will ask you what is variable means variable is used to store a single value what is object object is collection of variables object is collection of what variables what is collection collection is group of objects group of objects three things i am telling is it clear purpose of variable is to store what single value purpose of object is used to store what group of values for example one employee is one object is it clear for example in uh, in database what happen you we'll store the data in the form of table i have one table with name emp with column c number e name and salary year 101 year anil year 20000 year 102 year sunil year 30000 is it clear year 103 year ajay year 40000 so here what happen now in mongo db is it clear your table is considered as collection your table is considered as collection your row is considered as one document row is considered as one document is it clear your column is considered as some it will maintain the data in the form of key and value pair format now one employee means one object e number column 101 similarly e name column some anil i will give it will maintain the data in the form of some document format Yes or no? Now here I have something like uh, in a normal database, what happen in future? If you add any extra column, if you add any extra column, I uh, I want to give increment. The company want to give increment for the employee, but they don't want to give increment for all the employees. So there is no flexibility in um, relational databases. Is it clear? He, he has given increment only for one employee. One employee only. He has given the increment, so you added one more column in the table. Did you understood? But these two employees don't have increment, but still, it will allocate memory for them and at least store the null values. But in MongoDB, it will not maintain that schema. Now, relational databases will maintain the schema. Now in MongoDB, how it will store? E number colon one not one, something like E name colon. Is it clear? And here I'll try to give some name like Anil, and again comma salary, colon some twenty k. Is it clear? No, don't store the increment because the value does not exist. Is it clear? And again that is one document. One row is called as one document. Again E number colon one not two. This is what it will not follow the schema. It will not follow the schema. Here I'll try to give Sunil. Is it clear? And here I'll try to give salary something like thirty k. This is another document. One row is equal to one object or one document. One not three. Is it clear? Here I'll try to give e name. E name column I'll give Ajay. And here I'll try to give salary. Salary column I'll give some forty thousand. And here I'll give some increment. Increment I'll try to give some some four thousand something like this. This is your normal uh, database uh, structure like Oracle SQL Server. It will follow this structure. This is your MongoDB structure. It will maintain the data in the form of documents. It will follow follow the what schema. Schema means every cell must uh, fix it with some value. If there is no value, at least you have to give the null value. Here these spaces are wasted. Actually, is it clear? In MongoDB, which is where data exists, that values only we can store. Did you understood everyone? Yes or no? That's the point. First point I am talking about, but no schema. Is it clear? So all records have to follow the schema here I discussed. Is it clear? Now coming to MongoDB. For example, I am developing a here. You see, I am maintaining one database for some shopping cart application. There are two types of tables are there. One is users table, other one is orders table. So in MongoDB, one table is considered as one collection. Two tables are considered as two collections. Now your database is not a nothing but collections. Your row is nothing but one document. Now you have to fetch the data from the collections. You have to no need to write any SQL query. No SQL database. That is MongoDB. Did you understood everyone? Here, what I point I told you one point I told you no need to maintain the schema no need to follow the schema to store the data in the database here you see i want to store some information 
here id employee id is one name age but here we have not stored this data another employee only a name is stored age is not stored and another employee name is not stored only age is stored like these all are empty values but mongodb will give solution for this this type of data storage the structure of the mongodb will be like this it will not allocate memory for the values which are empty it will allocate memory for the values which are existing and in mongodb every row will consider as one document every table will consider as one collection is it clear this is what i showed you here you see uh, no sql it is a mechanism for storage and retrieval of data from databases without schema and can handle huge amount of data because of not supporting because of supporting this type of data structure data we can store huge amount of data duplicate values duplicate data also will be more actually in mongo compared with normal sql because mongo does not support relations between the tables no so repetition of data will be there i don't tell that mongodb is best some scenarios go for rdbms some scenarios go for mongodb did you understood here you have two tables are there department and course and how you mention these two tables here in this format this is a complete free course it will take minimum 15 days to complete the total mongodb okay na don't be hurry to complete the course try to learn slowly we'll try to learn but just i am comparing with your sql databases with our no sql database complete course is free course mongodb is completely free course okay na so that's what i'm telling here mostly recommended for python and mean stack developers and other developers also had an advantage if you keep, because angular is mandatory nowadays for everyone so mean stack developers you must have the knowledge on yeah we'll cover all the topics i'll cover so here you see there are no relations in mongodb here you see how the data is stored if you take one users table this is users data and here id is there name is there email id is there here another user user id is there name is there email id is there. this is one document this is two documents these documents we are storing in one collection collection is nothing but group of objects is it clear so may, maybe people will tell this data is in the form of json format now this is another table called some products table product id uh, title price and here you have some orders table this one these all are individual tables actually is it clear you have to mention the product information again inside this orders we'll see how to store the data from simple level to complex level and in normal uh, relational databases uh, fetching the data it will support horizontal scaling is it clear if your database consists of multiple tables relations are existing when you try to keep your particular database on multiple servers getting the data from uh, is it clear when uh, database server is also a software no multiple users will interact with uh, uh, database server if uh, multiple users are communicating with single server the burden on the server will be increased so we have to keep this particular application on multiple servers then some scaling problem will be there always in uh, relational databases the data will be fetched in horizontal manner sorry this is mongodb this is your relational databases it will support vertical scaling actually which one mongo as a python developer what should i learn postgresql or mysql or mongodb or django please tell me python developer django is mandatory to develop web application and mostly i think you will be learning with sql lite or but better python developers recommended mongodb sql lite or mysql also fine relational database is required and mongodb is also mandatory mostly python people will use mongodb when you know the structure of the data you use sql if you not aware of the structure you go with no sql very good answer by gautam yeah i like your answer you you don't tell when you know when the application requirement uh, data is fixed if the if the structure of the table is fixed then go for relational databases if the structure of data will 
for example you take any application like uh, customer feedback application if you go to any restaurant they will give you to fill the form feedback but some 10 fields are there name phone number age some gender your favorite food uh, feedback lot of information will be there 10 columns are there now in the database table but the customer will not uh, insert all the data customer will not insert uh, write all the data customer is very lazy he is not interested to give all his information just two to three columns he will give but uh, 10 columns are there in the table the, uh, what about the remaining seven columns the remaining seven columns are left uh, without any data it will waste unnecessarily some memory wastage is there or not yes or no like uh, some millions of customers are there if you take swiggy in swiggy swiggy after ordering the food it will ask you to please rate or please give feedback or they will give some form but the customer will not fill the total information did you understood so because of that lot of memory is wasted so your mongodb what it is doing it is a hierarchical databases database it will maintain the structure in hierarchical format whatever the required value that is stored it will maintain the data in that format only we'll have more discussion on that don't worry is it clear? MongoDB used for .NET students? Yeah, .NET students means 100% they have to use relational databases only. But in future, if you shift to Angular and your company is forcing you to use MongoDB with your Angular means, definitely you must shift that. Pure .NET developers, no need of MongoDB. Java also same. Nowadays, there is a demand for full stack developer. Full stack developer means Angular with your Java is called as full stack Java developer. Angular with .NET, full stack .NET developer. Uh, Angular with Python, full stack Python developer. Without Java, .NET, Python, if you want to develop the end to end application, then mean stack developer. Mostly mean stack developers will use MongoDB, Express.js, Angular, anything I left, Node.js, mean. End to end application without full stack that is mean stack. Yeah, maybe some sessions I will record. Is Firebase database working is same as MongoDB? I don't think so. Is this course for MongoDB developer or administration developer? SQL and MongoDB both are similar. No, right. Uh, uh, querying on collections is what MongoDB. Querying on database tables is what SQL. SQL will not work. Here some other uh, skills are required. You must know how to fetch the data from the collections. Is it clear? Core DB administrator. Maybe if you learn it, it will be helpful for you. Just at least basic queries, you must have the knowledge. Is it clear? Only pure developer point of view, I will cover querying on the collections. Everything I will tell you, are, this is not one session. No. It will go on like that until we complete the syllabus. Sir, Angular with Python, which DB? Angular with Python, Python people mostly they can use, use SQLite or even you can use MongoDB also. UI developer, sir. Yes, only mean stack means you can go. Okay, okay. It is helpful for SQL developers. Maybe if you learn, no problem. Pure SQL developers not required. If you want to shift your update your skills or anything, you can learn. Which is best database for web developer? We cannot decide that one. It depends on the requirement. Two different types of uh, databases are there. File based management systems are there. If you are going for streaming type of data or images or videos or unstructured data, this Oracle SQL server is failure. Again, you have to go for some file based system. Again, fetch the data and again push the data into other databases. I am not telling MongoDB is best and other databases are worst. Depending on the situation requirement, we have to choose the database. Sir, Angular with Python. Yes. I like your teaching. Please provide your material. Yeah, thank you. Sir, for Java developers, what should I learn? Okay, okay, fine, good. You are good in typing, I think. Uh, every day you will type, use mostly WhatsApp. Uh, you are very good skilled people in typing the messages. Good, anyway. Okay, did you understand? This is what anyway tomorrow we'll discuss more about the differences between SQL and no SQL. Okay, I think today I spoke more about uh, SQL. 
right tomorrow again jen definitely i will satisfy you with mongodb did you understood we'll start mongodb tomorrow python developer you must have the knowledge on sql light and mongodb also recommended companies will ask did you understood everyone python developer you must have the knowledge on both the things yeah i will share these videos in youtube you can watch i'll share in the whatsapp link thank you for more videos try to subscribe to this channel have a nice